Good morning traders. So how do we trade the Dow Jones today? So we've had a yet another indecision bar on the daily. So that's three in a row now. And um, those three indecision bars have formed a bigger triangle. So on the lower time frames, we did break through a triangle and I'll show you now. But um, that is pretty much a consolidation pattern and there's a couple of things about this consolidation pattern. So the first thing is it is a triangle, then it is an inside bar, inside bar. So it's a, a double inside bar with our oscillators starting to, to group and with the momentum index stepping outside its Bollinger Band right now. We're off a level and we're off a 200 day um, exponential moving average. So quite a bit happening here. The challenge is still the following. Okay, so that would be its second move, which would take us down pretty much to come and test these previous lows. Okay, and that is uh, 23, let's just say, let's just round it off to 23,400. Okay, so that is the one scenario. And the other scenario is obviously a break to the upside. Now, if we just delete that, delete that, and I said to you on the lower time frames, we had broken through. So there was yesterday's triangle. And then obviously we broke through and then we've come back to to test this uh, bottom trend line or test the break. So that is the one scenario that could be playing out. The other one obviously is that that is the new triangle. Okay, so that is another scenario. So, you know, there's still no real direction as of yet. And if you look at the one hour, there's nothing really here that's uh, indicating we have a change in direction just yet or even a continuation. So we are still within this consolidation pattern. Okay, um, key thing to note is yesterday we did get a higher high and I'm taking the higher highs off the previous fractal. There's a previous fractal. We close above it, we've come back and we've also ended up with a higher low. There's a higher low there. Okay, so I think for me at the moment on the Dow, we are still kind of in uh, indecision mode and uh, nobody's really sure what to do. And what I want to do is just Um, so what I want to do is just come to the last hour of trading and bear in mind that we're two hours behind, so that's 7.30, eight, so it's 9.30 there, and this is the 9.30 to 10, and this is 9 to 9.30, so pretty much these two bars here are the last hours of trading, the, the remaining bars here is after hours trading. So this is the last hour of actual trading. And you can see we kind of stepped above the, uh, the closing range, which is at the highest there. We stepped above it and uh, we pretty much maintained that. We didn't drop below the closing range here, although we did come test it in the morning. Okay, so for today, let me just get, so there's, 9.30 to 10, okay, and there is 9 to 9.30, so pretty much, uh, yeah, let's just do this, sorry, I haven't fixed my Fibonacci yet, so a break below, the bottom of the range brings us down to 
come and test these previous lows. I just want to get this level here. Comes and brings us to come and test these lows around about uh, 2500. Okay, so that is the one thing. And what you'll notice about this is there is a potentially a second move as well. So just extend that to there, and then that pretty much lines up with the same target. Okay, so this move down, retracement, second move down. Okay, so that is a possibility. And um, the other possibility is obviously a break. I'm just going to use that level there. The other possibility is a break above the high of yesterday. Um, basically brings 25741 into play. Okay, so those are the two scenarios that I can see playing out, and uh, they both have merit. If you look at the oscillators here, we're busy with a, a crossover at the downside, um, but we're kind of hanging in, the, in no man's land in the middle of nowhere, so uh, not really confident either way. Okay, so that's kind of um, the play that I see playing out at the moment. Now, I just want to get up to a higher time frame here and just delete all this noise. So the thing to to take to take notice of is the fact that you know we've had this violent move and we've had these violent swings inside this um, consolidation pattern and these swings are getting slower or getting um, smaller and smaller and smaller. At the same time we've got a coming together of the moving averages. Okay, so from a four hour perspective, and remember on the Dow we want to take the, the trend off our four hour. Uh, the trend technically is still to the downside, although we are getting some warning bells that it's coming to an end. Now we've had one, two uh, bullish signals. Yesterday we didn't really have anything except um, confusion. So we've got uh, buyers and sellers uh, coming in off both uh, of these diagonal trend lines. So. Uh, for me, I think it's still kind of a wait and see, but what has happened is it's given us a pretty firm fractal, which is here. Okay, and we have another fractal to the downside. So those are the two fractals that we need to, to watch to break. So to the upside, we're looking for 25.515, and to the downside, we're looking to 25.140. Okay, so those are the two levels that we, we need to watch. And um, like I said yesterday, we, you know, we could continue in this consolidation phase today as well, like we did yesterday. So we basically had um, sort of Friday with a bit of consolidation. Monday's been consolidation. And now the question is, what's going to happen now? Okay, so the second move here is still a very real, real, so a reality at the moment, very real reality. So the second move is still a reality. So you've got to watch out for that because it could still break this triangle to the downside, find some support um, somewhere along here, which would basically just open up a bigger range. And that's 25.056 uh, before moving to the top of the range again. Okay. So that's kind of what I uh, can see at the moment. It's probably worthwhile just paying attention to this to, to pick up along off one of these uh, bottom levels here. Okay. Now, before I close out, I just want to hop on to the, the Bill Williams because it's going to give you a pretty good indication of what's actually going on. So if we look at the hour, the alligator is sleeping. Okay. I have the percentage R, which is Williams percentage R, okay, which is down pretty much at the um, oversold territories. And if we look at the awesome oscillator, we are flat. Okay, nothing really is right home about here. So, and that coincides with the sleeping alligator. If we look at the four hour, you'll see the momentum has changed to the upside. Okay, so there are buyers stepping in here, but we technically we are still below the alligator and the alligator hasn't crossed over, so we are sleeping. 
Okay, so whichever strategy you're using at the moment, um, the, the trick at the moment is to watch out for these fractal levels. Okay, so this fractal that we've made now this morning on the hour is a, it is above the alligator, so it is a potential area to watch to get long. Um, alternatively, this fractal is the downside, 25.195 would be an opportunity to get short. I'm not sure I want to be short here. Okay, so to me this is still a consolidation, and it's a consolidation of a, a fairly strong uh, level. Okay, so if I just take that off there. So it is a uh, consolidation of a fairly strong level, and uh, you can see the, the trend is still up. So if I look at the awesome oscillator on the weekly, you know, we are still in an uptrend. Okay, the only time that we really flirted with the changing trend direction on the weekly was way back in 2005 when we were flirting with the, the 200 weekly moving average. But for now, this trend is still up. Okay, and what you can also do do that. Okay, so this diagonal wasn't touched, so you could still see a move to come and test the bottom part of the alligator here and come and test the previous lows again. Uh, that is still a possibility. Okay, so I think uh, again, it's probably another case of uh, just wait and see, but uh, I'm definitely not looking at um, at any shorts. There may be a second move down, but I don't think that second move is going to be that big. So we're probably going to pick up off these levels, possibly hit this trend line, or alternatively um, pick up on the next level to the downside, which is pretty much next major level to downside is roughly in this... Uh, 24090 25000 area okay so that's kind of what i'm looking at and that would more than likely be the second move here if i'm correct yeah pretty close okay so that's kind of um, what i'm looking for oh, we're going to watch and see what happens and i'm looking pretty much on the hour at the moment to see what happens so the hour fractals are the ones that I'm watching, and um, you know, as I said, we broke the previous fractal, we've closed above it, we've formed a, a lower fractal, or a higher fractal than here, so that's the first fractal I need to worry about, and now the previous high of yesterday is the fractal to the upside we need to worry about, and that's kind of the, the range at the moment. Okay, so yeah, um, well, that's me for now. Uh, I'm not really looking to shorten this, not with this price action anyway, and I'm not looking to get long either. So it's still a waiting game for me to see which way we're going to break, and at that point I will trade. Okay, so that's kind of my take on on the uh, on the Dow. Um, I hope it helps, and uh, keep those stops tight, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Anyway, uh, cheers for now.